Hi, I'm Brent Antrim, and this is a database tour from the Santa Monica College Library. Today, our topic is Native American women, and the database that we'll be exploring is called Contemporary Women's Issues. In order to get to the library page from the college homepage, now over student support and click on library, or click on student support, and scroll all the way down to more helpful services and resources. The library is listed alphabetically in the center. Once you're at the library homepage, you have a variety of ways to start your search, including one search, which is a listing of everything that we own or subscribe to. It can be a little bit overwhelming, so if you have a particular topic in mind, you might want to head into the databases, which we'll be doing today. Also on this page, before we leave it, research guides to a variety of topics, including citation styles. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can take a look at the workshops and videos that we have in person and archived on our YouTube channel. And you can ask a librarian a reference question 24-7. If you ask us during times when we're open, you'll talk to an SMC librarian. During times that we're closed, a college or university librarian from one of our partner institutions will assist you. If they are unable to answer your question, they will send us a ticket. We will email you when we come back to work to help you with your question. Further down the page are upcoming events, resources, including a link to our YouTube channel and again to ask a librarian, contact information and hours, and links to our social media. So today, if my topic is Native American women, I could go into databases, and once here I have a way to take a look at specific subtopics within our over 100 databases. The first is a note of warning. This is search for databases, not search in databases. So if I search for Native American women here, I'm not going to find an entire database just on my topic. So my words will not be in the description of the database, and I will come up with zero, even though there are databases that will have information on my topic. So instead, I would head over here to all subjects and take a look at topics that would be useful for me. And in this case, women's studies would be quite useful. From here, best bets are those that are more specifically on my topic and that students searching in my topic area have found useful in the past. And then listed alphabetically below it are other databases that would also have useful information on a topic in women's studies. In this case, we're going to try Contemporary Women's Issues, which is a Gale One file database. And when I go here, I have a number of different ways I can start. If I have a specific journal in mind, I can search for that title and see if it has it. I can visualize my topic, put it in context with subdivisions of that topic to determine how to broaden or narrow it, um, or I can take a look at a subject guide search, and this is how we're going to start here. When I do a subject guide search, I tell it my topic, then I can say I want only full text documents. This will cut out things like videos, for example. I can look only for journals, I can look for specific dates, um, or again, I can look by a journal if I'm looking for that. And I'm going to do a general search and see what I get to start off with. Now, at first glance, this doesn't look like much. It has two things. One is a dictionary and the other is just my topic. However, if you look a little closer, it has subdivisions within this topic that allow you to narrow your search, and it has related subjects to the topic that also allow you to broaden your search. So I'm going to go back one. So the subdivisions makes it more specific. Related subjects makes it broader, bigger. So I head into subdivisions to take a look at what I'm looking for. And this will give me subject headings within Native American women as my topic and how many articles or other pieces of information there are on this topic. So if I'm particularly interested in the amount of Native American women who have gone missing. I might look at crimes against Native American women. And it gives me eight magazines, three academic journal articles, 29 news articles, more news than anything else because um, this makes the news sometimes, not nearly as much as it should, and videos within that. And from here, I can also narrow by date. Maybe I want the last four years. or the last month, depending on how often it's reported. And that will narrow it down even further. 
Then within that, I can say I would like articles, I would like reports. I can look at specific subjects within that. And again, I can say I want full text, which is the entire document, not just information about the document, or I want documents that contain images. So there are ways to make your search more specific um, and at the same time, look for exactly what it is that you need for your topic. So I'm going to go back a little bit. I can take off applied filters. I can revise my search here. I can look for specific um, connections between terms. So I can say Native American women in the entire document, in the abstract that describes it, etc. So I'm going to leave this as the entire document. And I'm going to add missing as my term. And that I'm going to leave as a keyword. I want it to be anywhere. And I'm going to search for that. And this gives me news, academic journals, and magazines. So if I take a look through this, this will tell me a little bit about what it is. And when I click on it, it will tell me about the article, give me related to, um, articles to it, related subjects, which are broader, so they will include specifically missing women and other things. The actual article itself, it will allow me to cite it, save it to my Google Drive or my OneDrive, and find related articles. With these articles, I can do a little bit of changing to make it easier, more accessible. I can make it smaller, make it larger. I can um, change how I display it. I can listen to it. I can save it to my drives. I can email it and download it and print it. Once I find what I'm looking for um, and have completed that, I can go back to my search or I can begin a new search that is related to it. So good luck with your searching and contact us if you have any questions during your search.